We're pleased to welcome back our good friend Jim Kirkos, uh, Chief Executive Officer of the Meadowlands Regional Chamber. Good to see you, Jim. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, for those who don't know, describe the chamber. Uh, the chamber is a business service organization. We currently represent just under 1,200 companies in the greater Meadowlands area. And uh, our main focus is uh, advocacy, economic development, transportation infrastructure, and, and just representing businesses of all sizes, small, medium, and large companies. It's happened over in the Meadowlands these days. You know, it is never, I, I say this all the time, <laughs> it's never a day without controversy in the Meadowlands, but we charge on. Lots of good things happening. The, 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 the uh, commercial real estate market is really hot, it's on fire. Um, you know, the property values are strong. You know, we're still waiting for American Dream to, uh, you know, get its financing so we can restart construction there. But we're really optimistic about that project and what it, what it does to the, you the are economy. I am. Right, still. Yes, yeah, very much so. I mean, why? Uh, because I know how much has involved there. I know how much the, the Gramazian family, Triple Five, uh, the company, has put into it. Um, and, and while people don't see how much uh, is there, is driving by on the highway, they see, they see inactive cranes, it's been three or four hundred million dollars already uh, constructed in the infrastructure there. Yeah. And so, so once they complete the financing, the rest of the construction is, moves on. Jim, one of the initiatives that we haven't talked about is this accelerator program, uh, New Jersey Business Incubation Network and Accelerator Program we do in cooperation with Bergen Community College. Right. What is that? Uh, the incubator is, is great. It was originally started uh, in the Meadowlands by the uh, New Jersey Meadowlands Commission. Uh, and then when the Bergen Community College chose to locate its Meadowlands campus um, on Wall Street West uh, in the Lyndhurst Corporate Park, which was a brilliant uh, decision to do that, right in the middle of a vibrant corporate hub, um, they took over the incubator. And, what does uh, it mean, the incubator? And so, so it's an opportunity to uh, incubate and accelerate startup companies, businesses that, uh, that have great ideas, need a place to just get started, you know, have an office environment, have the resources, a conference room, and, 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 and all other business services readily available to them so they can concentrate on, on uh, you know, building their idea and getting their idea and, and their business to the next level. So you provide uh, companies with a year or two of, of those particular low-cost services services and, and you incubate a successful, you know, new innovation. Why, I mean, you and I have talked about entrepreneurship a lot, both on and off the air. Why is entrepreneurship so difficult for those, many of those who see themselves as entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurship? Well, I think there's a, a little bit of a gap between innovation and actually running a business. So, so, you know, God bless us here in this country, we have an enormous amount of innovation. We have great creativity. We great have idea. Great ideas, great energy. Uh, but, but, the, but the people sometimes that, that launch those great ideas don't necessarily know how to write a business plan, how to really seek out the proper financing, how to structure their company for success. Uh, and that's where the help comes into play. So these business accelerators and, quite frankly, organizations like mine throughout, throughout the, the state, that's what we do. We what do you get out of that? What does, the, what does the chamber get out of that? Well, that's our mission. You know, you have to, you have to buy into the mission. I've bought into the mission. I, I operated a small business for 25 years before leading and taking over the, 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 uh, the chamber. What's so, it take? Uh, it What's takes, it really take? Uh, I worked, Steve, I worked 20, for 23 years, I worked seven days a week, probably 15, 18 hours a day. It takes a lot of work, a lot of hard work. So someone says, I want to, quote, be my own boss, run my own business, quote, because I don't want to have to work so hard, you say. I say there is no, there is no easy way to success. <laughs> hard work, building a work ethic, <laughs> and and so so most most creative entrepreneurs that come in, they have that, right? Yep. Every once in a while, you come across somebody that has that <laughs> attitude, and and Jim yeah. sits him down and says, yeah. uh, "Listen, let me tell you the reality." Yeah, I find it funny as well uh, when I hear people say, "They go, really?" Yeah. You want that responsibility of yeah. all those employees making the payroll, paying their health benefits. Trust me, you got to be out there doing it all the time. And you know what happens? In, so uh, what I try to do is I put both success stories and war stories in front of these entrepreneurs. They need Why to, both? Because, because there's so much of a learning experience. You're not trying to turn both. them off with the no, war no, stories. No, but they just, need to, they just need to understand them. Like my personal war story is that when I was growing my company, at one particular point in time, my business was struggling so much, I had 50 weeks of my personal paycheck sitting on my microwave. My wife and I, who were recently married, lived off of our savings account. I couldn't cash my paychecks. And then all of a sudden, I got, I got our business together, and slowly but surely in the following year, we were cashing the checks. And I, and but I it had to be done. Could, but it had to be done. Because that's what it means to be an entrepreneur. I had my, my employees had to be paid. I was paying my employees before I was paying me. Real quick, uh, Hispanic, Hispanic 
chamber connected with you guys, right? Yeah, actually the Hispanic uh, Chamber of Commerce, Carlos Medina and his organization are, has taken up residence uh, at, the, uh, at the accelerator at Burlington Community College. It's a brilliant, it's a brilliant move and, and, and I think the, uh, you know, the Hispanic entrepreneurial market is really growing strong, especially in that part of the region. So the keys to running a successful business. Got to have great people. Keep going. No, uh, I got to have great people. You have to have a great work ethic. You have to have. To, there has to be a collaboration. It's a. T it's a team approach. Networking is so key, and that's what organizations like mine. D you does. Say you have terrific events all the time. You bring people together. Yeah. To meet other people. Those those opportunities to build relationships are incredibly incredibly important. And every single time, whether they come to a, a, a business seminar, whether they come to a networking event, even if they come to an after hours card exchange where it's a little bit more relaxed and fun, they're building they're building a network and they're building relationships and people will help each other you know when people trust you and like you and get to know you they'll want to help you and that's what we preach all the time the preceding program has been a production of the caucus educational corporation celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence and 13 for WNET NJTV and WHYY Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by Josh S. Weston, Investors Bank, Berkeley College, Suez, Delta Dental of New Jersey, Johnson & Johnson, and by the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.